So this was this was a game that was made a while ago, uh, actually here. And so you can actually get to this. It's Embarcadero.com dash info or Embarcadero dash info dot com slash game. This is a flash game here. It's uh, David Eye's underwater challenge. And so I, I believe they actually uh, captured a real David Eye 3D model for this. You can see that <laughs> the movement's very lifelike <laughs> here. So you got to dodge the the monsters in the water and then catch the tokens that say XE on them. And each monster you dodge gives you a few points, it looks like here. Oh, I didn't make it over far enough. The crab got, got <laughs> David Eye. And there's a big frog, and there's a shark, and everything that shows up here. Oh, I missed that last token. But anyway, made it through the level. We got a hundred, bo- a thousand bonus points. And I'm on level two. Yeah, I remember that one. It was some time ago. Anyway, okay. So then the next one I have here, so which over before David I guess hit by a an animal. This is a, a game that's written in Delphi. So there actually is a few of them, but I'm going to go ahead and show this one off here. And so this is written with FireMonkey, so it actually runs across um, uh, iOS and Android and um, OS X, as well as Windows. So I'm going to hit play. So you may recognize this as uh, similar to Space Invaders. So right now I'm using the keyboard, but I can also use, this is the fire button here. Right now I use the keyboard to move and then use the, uh, the and so these, these buttons over here actually will move as well. So if I tap here. And so then when you're on a, uh, a uh, tablet or a phone, then those buttons on screen buttons, you can tip it to do that. And then it's also got a gyroscope where you can enable, which since I'm on my, my laptop, it's not going to work with the gyroscope. And so then you can tip this, tip it left and right in order to, um, to move it. I'm not paying enough attention here. I'm getting hit. There we go. So I completely level one. I'm on level two. And uh, you saw there's a little uh, spaceship that flies across. You can hit that for some extra bonus points. And there's a bonus that shows up occasionally too. That uh, you can use, you can get to get some extra bonus points. It's not sure. I was hoping it showed up by now. I don't think you want to watch me play this all afternoon. Okay, that level got real completed quickly. Um, okay, so let's take a look at the code here. So we're going to have this uh, available here in the near future. I was hoping to have it. Uh, up on GitHub for everybody today, but it's not quite ready to go yet. I guess there's a couple things I want to change. But I came here and can actually change the uh, starting level, so I'm gonna go ahead and change starting level to 10 instead of one, and run it. We hit play, and you. So it looks the same right now, but as soon as they hit the wall, watch what happens when they hit the side. Oh, there's the bonus. I missed it. See, how it's getting really fast now. So if I gotta shoot these guys really quick, or I'm gonna be in trouble because. They're getting fast, fast. Ooh, ooh. I don't know if you guys can see it on the... Oh, they're gone. I'm gone. All right, so I'll change them back. Um, but the one thing I thought was interesting here is if you look at the screen here, the right here, these rectangles, that you can see they're kind of gray rectangles, are your lives. And when it's running, it actually shows little rocket ship there. And so a trick that they're using here to keep the uh, number of uh, images, bitmaps that you need to put in there down, because see if I was to load this same bitmap in each of these spots, then it would have three copies or four copies of the bitmap. So instead what it does here is it says it uses bitmap to rectangle to copy the ship bitmap into the lives rectangle. And so that way it's saving the, uh, which, Here's the code for that. It's just uh, copying the, uh, using the assign operation to copy it over. So it's replicating the bitmaps at runtime in order to save the size of the image. Now, in this case, they're probably not adding a whole lot of uh, size to it, but it could potentially add a lot more. And so here we see 
we have some of the other uh, items. Here's the the 500 point bonus and the ship and stuff like that are laid out automatically for it. So anyway, um, some of the, uh, the, this game, I believe, is supposed to have multiplayer through app tethering, but I'm not sure how you'd have multiplayer. Maybe it just tells you who got the high score out of uh, everybody that's playing. But so you can use that tethering for high scores. Um, anyway, so let's go, let's go through some of this. Some interesting code here. It's always interesting to see uh, some of the ways you solve different, or interesting ways problems are solved with, because uh, with games you have to worry about different things than you do with line of business applications, typically. 